Aloha, my name is Kimberly Wood, and today I'm going to talk about spinner dolphin management in Hawaii waters. Island associated spinner dolphins, such as those found in Hawaii, have complex social structures and behavioral patterns linked to specific habitats that support their high energetic demands. Spinner dolphins in Hawaiian waters are nocturnal foragers. Nightly, as dusk approaches, large groups of spinner dolphins gather together to move offshore to feed. Spinner dolphins in Hawaii rest during the day in nearshore bays where they are focus of a considerable amount of human attention. This includes individuals who swim to and attempt to interact with these dolphins either from shore, kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, or even recreational and commercial boats. Because of the energetically demanding task of foraging at night, it is very important for spinner dolphins to have places to rest in the daytime hours. Until October 2021, human dolphin interactions were managed by the National Marine Fisheries Service through regulation prohibiting harassment and with voluntary guidelines. Given the difficulty of enforcing this harassment rule and the lack of compliance with the guidelines, in October 2021, NIMS finalized a no swim with rule and a 50 yard no approach rule. There are several studies that have investigated the importance of adequate rest and the negative impacts that occur if animals do not obtain adequate rest. The last published study by Julian Tyne et al. collected data over an 18-month period during 2011 and 2012, which showed spinner dolphins were exposed to human activity within 100 yards 83% of the time observed. However, this study did not separate out the frequency of interactions at a 50 yard or closer distance. In November and December 2021, we monitored spinner dolphin human interactions from shore in part to assess compliance with new regulations. Observations were made at three different bays, Heala Kakua, Hono Nau Nau, and Hookena all along the west side of Hawaii Island. Using a drone, typically flown over 150 feet, and handheld binoculars, the number of swimmers, human-powered watercraft, and motorized watercraft within 50 yards of dolphins, and between 50 and 100 yards of dolphins was recorded at five minute intervals. We spent 49 hours observing human dolphin interactions over 15 days. On water law enforcement presence was recorded within the bays on three of those days, each for approximately two hours. On land enforcement was also recorded on three days for varying time frames. Overall, law enforcement presence was observed for approximately 4% of our total observation time. During our study, the proportion of observation periods with violations was high, with a grand mean of over 50%. It is important to note that in general, there were more swimmers and watercrafts noted at distances between 50 and 100 yards rather than less than 50 yards. Violations involving swimmers were recorded more frequently than those involving kayaks, paddle boards, and motorized watercraft. Overall, our results demonstrate that shortly after the new regulations went into effect, enforcement presence was minimal and violations of regulations occurred regularly. This data illustrates the importance of using a myriad of approaches to managing spinner dolphin harassment, including education, environmental design, and social marketing techniques that apply behavior science change. Dr. Katie Abrams, the principal investigator of this study, will be sharing the results of the social marketing campaign she developed in the near future. If you would like to be invited to a free public webinar this fall, please contact Dr. Abrams at the following email. Thank you so much. Aloha.